Good morning, everyone. Lisa here. This is Lisa 6 and 3. And here is God's strength life lesson for you this day. We're still in Samuel. 2 Samuel chapter 3, verses 26 and 27. And when Joab had gone from David's presence, he sent messengers from Abner who brought him back from the well of Sarah. But David did not know it. Now, when Abner had returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside in the gate to speak with him privately and there stabbed him in the stomach so that he died for the blood of Ashihi, Asahia, his brother. Y'all know these names in the Bible kind of hard to pronounce. So that he died for the blood of Asahia, his brother. In this scripture, y'all, y'all think the stuff that's going on now is, is ruthless. These people in the Bible, they, first of all, all of them were soldiers and they knew how to fight. And they were jealous of each other, too. It's crazy how jealous they were. In this scripture, Abner, who is the commander-in-chief who of Saul's army, you know, Saul's dead now. But he wanted to form an alliance with David, David the mighty warrior. So he goes to David and says, yo, man, let's do business together. David's like, the only way I'm going to do business with you is you bring me Micah. Y'all remember Micah, that was Saul's daughter who he gave to David. But then when Saul got mad, he took her back. Years has passed. David never forgot that. Now, David got several wives and concubines, but he wanted Micah. And the only way he was going to do business with Abner is if he got Micah back. Abner went, got Micah, gave her to David. Now, let's make this covenant. They made the covenant. Now, David's cousin... Joab wasn't happy about that. You know why? Because Abner killed Joab's brother years ago. And he never forgot that thing. So he gets Joab. He gets Abner by himself. And he kills him. Make it seem like we get ready to have a real conversation. And really what you want to do is cuss me out. How many of us have done that? Oh, let's make friends with our enemy. Oh, come over for dinner, and then I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. Don't do that. Don't hold grudges. He held a grudge against this man all these years, and the opportunity came, and he took matters into his own hand. And again, blood was shed. David couldn't do anything about it because that's his nephew. So now he's got to cover for his family. Don't hold grudges. That's our message today. Let it go, y'all. Y'all remember that song? Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let God fight the battle. Stop telling the story over and over and over in your own spirit. It doesn't help anyone, not even you. Today's strength. Rely on the word. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I know they did you wrong. I know they took somebody from you. She probably took your boyfriend or he probably took your girlfriend. Y'all grown now. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. God has more for you. What looked like a loss really is a gain. Don't hold grudges. Whew, that's good stuff. I'm speaking to all of you. Share it with your friends, share it on your page. Somebody needs to hear this today before they do something that will be destructive to them and their families. This has been Lisa with Lisa 6 and 3. You go, make it a wonderful weekend. And I will see you, God's willing, Monday morning. Be blessed.